Good evening and thank you for watching. I'm John Becker. Moments ago, the leader of Knox County Schools called for an internal review after widespread criticism of the response from school leaders tied to a gas leak at a high school in Knox County. Last Thursday, authorities say a contract custodian deliberately left a gas valve open overnight at Hardin Valley Academy. Parents say it took school leaders far too long to warn them and take action last Thursday to evacuate that school. You're looking at a live look now of the Knox County Board of Education meeting where many parents were voicing concerns tonight. Again, we appreciate you watching at the top of the hour. School did end early that day, but only after several students reported feeling sick. Parents still accusing school leaders of failing to act fast enough to keep students safe. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman joins us with concerns from one mother. Maria. John, this is just one of many text messages parents were receiving Thursday morning. There are messages of their kids describing the strong smell of gas in hallways and classrooms, and parents rushed to school to pick them up. Well, Jenna Ball is one of those parents. She says her daughter was breathing the gas for about three hours. She said the smell was terrible absolutely terrible. That is how Jenna Bala's daughter describes the smell inside of Hardin Valley Academy. But you could smell it everywhere and everyone was complaining about their heads hurting. She says her daughter got to school at 10 a.m. in the morning and just 15 minutes later her daughter texted her about a strong smell of a gas leak. She says her daughter didn't stop smelling gas until 1 p.m. about three hours later. These students and faculty they could have died. You know, if he continued to keep them in school any longer on Thursday, they could have died. She says no email, phone call or text message came from the school to explain the emergency. The only message she got that day came about nine hours later in an app the school uses to send messages. The lack of communication when there is a gas leak and the school is being evacuated with thousands of students not knowing how they're going to get home. That's not taking their safety into consideration. In a YouTube video posted by the school's principal, Robert Spees, Spees admits to a communication slip up during evacuations. By trying to work quickly as we evacuated, I failed to click the override button that would have pushed all messages to send immediately. I will not make this mistake again. Now, Bella and among of other parents keep pressing the school board for answers as to why this wasn't handled better. John. All right, we know the school board meeting right now. Maria will have more tonight on the night beat. We appreciate that update.